Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Bath and Body Works haul from the semi-annual sale that I want to show you. Um, sorry, I just got some messages on my watch. Um, uh, so I did go in the store. I just went to one store, uh, the one that's closest to me that I live next to. I'm not next to, but you know what I'm saying, five minutes away. Um, and then I did place an order online, which I don't like doing because I don't like paying the shipping because it just defeats the really good deals. But at the same time, I did have some coupons to use. So in the store, I used a 20% off one. Online, I used a 10 off of a $40 purchase. My online one, I had a ton of stuff. Said it was in stock. Let me put it in my cart. But then when I would try and check out, it kept saying something was out of stock and I'd have to scroll down. I had so many things in my cart, it was taking forever to load, so it was a really annoying user experience. Um, and then I'd have to individually, like, delete that and then wait for the page to refresh and then go all the way to the checkout and, and then wait for the last page where I'm, like, pressing submit order. Oh my God, if you can hear it shuffling noise in the background, which I, I don't, I'm hoping you can't, it's my cat playing with a plastic bag. Um, well, there he is. Here comes Tiger. Um, and it was really annoying because it would... It would be once you get to the final page is when you all of a sudden see something else is sold out. And it was really annoying. And sometimes on the page, it wouldn't even show which item was sold out. So I'd have to like exit out of my browser and then go back in and try and do it again. Anyway, I ended up only being able to order about half of what I would li like to have ordered. Um, because things were saying they were in stock. And of course, later on, they weren't. So um, I am going to show you. I did get, and I'm going to return... This shower gel and lotion in store, and this is in the cinnamon sandalwood scent. I thought I was going to like it. It was 75% off. I used it once, and it smelled so medicinal, and then I looked at the reviews, and the reviews were talking about how it was really medicinal, so I'm going to return it. Um, I don't need to exchange it or anything. I just, I don't, I don't want it. I don't want to suffer through using it. I, I used it at night after I took a shower, and I slept. And out like all night, I felt like I smelled like benzocaine. And if you know what benzocaine smells like, then you know it's very medicinal. It, it's, uh, it was just gross. It just reminded me of like benzocaine I use at my work on my patients. And I don't, I didn't want it. So the other stuff I purchased in the store were, I believe, all 75% off items. And I did have, I walked in one day and I had a free item with a, any purchase coupon. So I did use uh, the free item to get the stress relief um, eucalyptus spearmint body cream. And then I, the item I purchased was just a 75% off pumpkin cupcake soap. Always good. Just throw that up there. And then a different time when I went back, when I bought that other body care that I just said I was going to return. I did have, um, I think I had a, I had a reward for a, another free item in my uh, app. So I just got a gingham shower gel. I, I need to remember to always purchase or like get free items as shower gels and not lotions. I have way more lotions than I have shower gels. And I don't go through lotion as fast as I go through shower gels. And so I should stop buying lotions. So as I say that, I'm about to show you a bunch of lotions that I bought. Well, not a bunch, but I did get Twisted Peppermint. I love this scent, so I know that I will use it even if I don't have a matching shower gel. Um, it's a scent I love year-round, but um, I like to use over the winter, and I look forward to it. So your classic peppermint scent. And you'll see I did get stuff to match that a little bit later but again everything was 75% off so pretty cheap and then I have no idea where the receipts are and then um, I'm not even sure I have a receipt oh no it's with the stuff I need to return and then I used 20% off on top of that in case anyone cares I grabbed buttercups and berry bellini this was the only one that they had left I don't know why but I just thought this smelled really good if this is a repackage of strawberry pound cake no it can't be it smells like strawberries and florals I don't know I really like it I I'm disappointed that I didn't buy this if it had a shower gel that went in I'm I'm yeah I don't know it smells really good disappointed I didn't notice that um 
earlier. Oh my gosh. I'm just getting like a ton of messages right now. I'm really sorry if I'm being distracted getting distracted. And then I grabbed a marshmallow pumpkin latte. I would have loved to get the shower gel with this too. This is just a classic. I don't like purchasing it too often. It's one I can get sick of. I, you know, once per season is fine. Hi, EB. Of course you're going to sit on my lap. Um, I, I, the twisted peppermint I can use over and over again without getting sick of, but, um, marshmallow pumpkin latte. Sorry. I bumped the camera. I can get sick of, um, EB, you know what? You really can't sit on my lap because I'm not going to be able to reach. How is this going to work? I don't know. Oh, he don't care. Okay. All right. And then on to my online order. My online order. Ooh. Okay. I couldn't remember how many Twisted Peppermint lotions I got. I did not know that I got two. So I purchased two more. <laughs> And um, I also got some of the shower gels. These were 75% off. Oh my gosh, I have to pause for a second. Okay, I had to get EB off my lap and just um, kind of zoom in a little bit here. So I just rearranged. So I bought two Twisted Peppermint lotions. I thought I only had one and then got two more. So I thought I had three because I bought three of the shower gels. And again, this was like after all of, I was only going to get like one or two, but after all these other items that I wanted that said they were in stock, all of a sudden weren't in stock. I was pretty much like stuck having to, um, like re-add to get a $40 purchase. I'm going to rearrange that just so it like makes a little bit more sense here. Not that it matters a ton. Okay, and then I bought some soaps. So I grabbed two of the <clears throat> Warm Winter Wishes. Again, 75% off. So they were, I don't even remember, a dollar something, dollar eighty-seven. Um, this is Fresh Winter Air. Zesty Citrus, Fresh Peppermint, and Cold Evergreen. Classic, nice, um, wintry scent. And uh, I believe I got some of those with my last soap sale. And... I like the scent, so I, I figured I would like that. I can tolerate this in small amounts. Winter Candy Apple, it's not like a hoard-worthy one for me, but it was 75% off, so I figured I'd grab one of those since, um, you know, I like it kind of. And then I grabbed a First Snow, and I believe I have another one of these that I purchased from a soap sale. This is Cool Crisp Air Frozen Pine and Snowy Mint. So I like those like wintry outdoorsy scents. And then um, Frozen Lake, which is Frozen Cypress, Eucalyptus, and Juniper Berry. I have this actually in my guest bathroom right now that I'm trying to use up from an old formula where it had like the, it was like the exfoliating ones with the grit in them. I loved those. I wish they'd bring those back. And then the last things that I have to show you are some of the mason jar candles. Now I have seen emails that are showing that they are changing the style. So I don't know if they're going to be doing mason jars anymore or going back to like a, a different look. I like the idea of changing and not having mason jars. I don't love having to like screw and unscrew these lids. Um... That's just a personal preference. I think that the other ones, if they're going to have a different lid, I think they look a lot nicer, more like a candle, but it, you know, it is what it is. I don't, I don't care really that much either way, but these were cheap. How much were they? Harvest Gathering, $2.96. I don't remember what the price was, but I got $10, that $10 off the, that online purchase as well. So it made them pretty cheap so they have a decent burn time it's hit or miss of as to how they are going to burn I have had some that drown because it's only one wick and I've also had ones that are really strong and some that are very light and don't smell very strong but I just figured I'd grab these no big deal so I got a harvest gathering which is I believe it has a scent no it's it's fresh picked apple autumn berries clove buds classic nice fall scent Marshmallow Fireside, which is a staple. And that's Toasted Marshmallow, Smoldering Woods, Fire Roasted Vanilla, Crystallized Amber. 
and I've actually been melting a chopped up candle of marshmallow fireside and it's not very strong. So I can't remember if marshmallow fireside burns strong or not. If you've burned one recently, let me know. Um, because I love the scent. I just can't remember. It's been a long time since I've burned a candle in marshmallow fireside. Peppermint hot chocolate, which it's chocolate mint. I love to eat chocolate mint. I don't know if I need to smell chocolate mint, but I like mint. And so I figured I would get it. It's sweet peppermint, silky milk chocolate topped with fluffy marshmallows. I, I feel like I've had this scent before in the past and it just wasn't very strong. It was disappointing when I had it in a candle form. So I don't know. And then the last one is pumpkin bonfire. And this is white pumpkin, a bundle of clove buds and glowing embers. And I don't, I don't love it, but I feel like for that burning, smoky, fall, little bit of pumpkin type scent, that this small mason jar sized candle is going to be perfect to satisfy my need for that, like that specific scent. Um, I feel like I have a big pump. I do. I'm trying to look at all my candles. I have a three wick and pumpkin bonfire. Yeah, it's not a candle because of the like clove that I would need a ton of, but um, it is nice in that smaller form where you'll get like a hint of it, but it's not going to be overwhelming. I'm hoping. We'll see. So that's it. That's it for semi-annual sale. Not a ton. I mean, I got a little bit of everything, so I'm happy. I didn't go and shop a lot of the sale. I just didn't really have an interest in buying a bunch because I got all the candles that I wanted from the candle day and some other body care as well. And I'm really just trying to use stuff up and um, not try and bring in a whole lot more, but I am weak to 75% off items, especially when they're ones that I like, or there are things that I know are going to be going up in price. Like nothing is really getting cheaper. Right. So I just figured I'd take advantage. I'd love to know what you bought at the semi-annual sale. Let me know. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.